Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn word problems in multiplication in class 2. We know that multiplication is one of the mathematical operations of numbers. Let us see in class 2, how do you do the story sums? We solve the story sums in two ways. Let us see and understand it with the help of examples. The first sum that we are going to see is Charlie made four packets of gifts for his friends. Each packet had two pens. How many pens were there in all? Multiplication word problems can be solved in two methods. One is by repeated addition, another is by multiplication. We know that repeated addition is multiplication. First, let us understand this sum now. Charlie made four packets of gifts for his friends. And each packet had two pens. So to find the total number of pens by repeated addition method, we should add two four times because there were four packets and each packet had two pens. So two plus two plus two plus two. So we are adding two four times here. What do you get the answer to be? 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. So this is the repeated addition method. How do you represent the same in the form of multiplication? What are we doing here? 4 times 2. We do it and we get the answer to be 8. So representing that in the form of multiplication, it will be 4 into 2 is equal to 8. We know that 4 represents the number of groups and 2 represents the number in each group. So 4 groups of 2 pens each. So 4 into 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, there were 8 pens in all. Hope you found this method of doing the story sums very interesting. We are going to do many more such sums to understand this concept better. Let us do the next sum now. A tricycle has three wheels. What is the number of wheels on seven tricycles? First, what are the two methods by which you are going to solve this story sum? By repeated addition and by multiplication. So here we have seven tricycles and each tricycle has three wheels. So to find the total number of wheels on seven tricycles, we must add three seven times. So three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. So I'm adding three seven times here because there are seven tricycles and each of which has three wheels. So when you add three seven times, you get the answer to be 21. So how do you represent this in the form of multiplications? We have seven groups of three items each. That is what we should understand. So it is seven into three. So seven threes are 21. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, there are 21 wheels on seven tricycles. Dear viewers, to understand and write the 2, 5 and 10 tables and 3, 4 and 6 tables, you may visit my videos how to write the multiplication tables of 2, 5 and 10 and 3, 4 and 6. These are two separate videos. Link to those videos are given below in the description box. This will help the children to understand and learn the tables rather than the typical rote learning method. Let us go to the next sum now. Sonia wanted to make a garland out of flower petals. So she picked nine flowers. Each flower had four petals. How many petals does she have? So what are the two methods by which we are going to solve? By repeated addition and by multiplication. So what is the question here? 
Sonia wanted to make a garland out of flower petals for which she picked nine flowers. And how many petals did each of the flower have? Four petals. So to find the total number of petals, we should add four nine times. So four plus 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 four and then plus four. So what will you get the answer to be? When you add four nine times, you get the answer to be 36. And how do you represent it in multiplication? Here we have nine group of items and each of them are having four items in it. So we have nine groups or four items each. So nine into four is equal to 36 or 9 times 4 is 36. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, Sonia has 36 petals. Very interesting, isn't it? Let us do another sum now. Five families went on a picnic in five cars. Each car had five people. How many people went on the picnic? First, let us do the repeated addition method. So, how many groups we have here? We have five groups, that is five cars. And in each car, how many people we have? We have five people. So, we have to add five, five times to find the total number of people. Five plus five plus five plus five plus five. Five plus five is ten. Ten plus five is fifteen. Fifteen plus five is twenty. Twenty plus five is twenty-five. Next, let us represent it in the form of multiplication. We have five groups of five items each. So, 5 into 5 is equal to 25. Therefore, 25 people went on the picnic. Stay with me to the end of this video, dear viewers, as we have many more such interesting examples. A man was selling balloons in the park. Seven children came and bought six balloons for each of them. What was the total number of balloons purchased by the children? Let us do it step by step now by repeated addition method. Here we have seven children who came and bought six balloons for each of them. So we have seven groups with six items in each of them. So we'll have to add six seven times to get the answer for total number of balloons. So six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six and another plus six. So I'm going to add six seven times and you get the answer to be 42. Let us represent this in the form of multiplication. We have seven groups of six items each that is seven children who got six balloons for each of them. So this answer is 7, 6 are 42. As the children will know tables by the time they do the story sums, they could verify the answer very quickly. Therefore, 42 balloons were purchased by the children. Next sum that we are going to see is, Geeta bought eight boxes of eggs. Each box had 10 eggs. So, how many eggs did she buy? Let us first do the repeated addition method. How many boxes we have? We have 8 boxes. So, the total number of groups is 8. How many eggs did each box have? 10 eggs. So, to find the total number of eggs, we should add 10 8 times. 10 plus 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 10. 10. What do you get the answer to be? 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 plus 10 is 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. 50 plus 10 is 60. 60 plus 10 is 70. And 70 plus 10 is 80. Now represent this in the form of multiplication. There are 8 groups with 10 items in each of it. So 8 into 10 is equal to 80 or 8 tens are 80. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, Gita bought 80 eggs. A square has four sides. How many sides do five squares have? 
Very interesting sum, isn't it? So, by repeated addition method, how do you do this? Here, we have 5 squares as the number of groups. And each square has 4 sides. So, to find the total number of sides, we should add 4 5 times because there are 5 squares. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. What do you get the answer to be? When 4 is added 5 times, you get the answer to be 20. And how do you represent this in the form of multiplication? 5 groups of 4 items each. That is 5 squares with 4 sides each and you get the answer to be 20. 5 fours are 20. Take and write down the answer. Therefore, 5 squares have 20 sides. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 2 under the topic multiplication for the children of which I have covered these topics. Introduction to multiplication, how to write the 2, 5 and 10 tables, how to write the 3, 4 and 6 tables, multiplication of 2, 5 and 10 tables on number line, multiplication of 3, 4 and 6 tables on number line. Then we saw order property of multiplication. Then we dealt with 2 digit by single digit multiplication with and without regrouping of the 1s, 10s and both the places. Then now in this video, we saw solving the story sums by applying multiplication in two ways. In my next video, I'll be covering the mental math concept and we'll be doing a multiplication worksheet which will be a quick revision of all the topics that the children have learned in class 2 so far. Each of these topics have been dealt with in separate videos and proper naming conventions have been given for each of these videos. Link to all the related videos are given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. You may also click on the in-screen video which will take you to the class 2 multiplication videos playlist. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the content, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and do provide your valuable comments in the comment section. It definitely motivates me to receive your comments both positive and negative. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.